Another day, another Dalton, Tiffany Henyard, T- Thornton Township, Board of Trustee, blah, 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 blah. Child, take your pick. Another story, child. And this one is a mess.com. This takes the damn cake. But we are researching to find out what the real story is. We'll go ahead and let the news give us the update, and then we will come back and talk. And now to an NBC5 exclusive, growing financial troubles in South Suburban Dalton. Failure to pay a debt has led to legal action on one of the village's bank accounts. As NBC5's Regina Waldrop reports, this is just the latest problem for the community as the mayor is the focus of a wide-ranging corruption investigation. Allegations of misspending, bills not being paid. In the small south suburb of Dalton, residents and governmental leaders have been speaking out about these issues for months. It's some trying times in the village right now. Now, more financial troubles. Last week, legal action taken on one of the village's bank accounts, leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars off limits. We served a document on the village's bank that requires the document to freeze twice the amount of the the judgment, so in this case, The bank has frozen $440,000. David Graham is a former Dalton detective. I was there for 17. 17 years. In 2019, he won a whistleblower lawsuit against the village. Woo, Lord, Lord, Lord. Maybe this is what Big Tiff was talking about when she said all the things that were going on prior to Herb. Now, all of a sudden, you got a problem with me, but you never had a problem with anybody else. Now, this was not under Big Tiff. I have here the information on Graham versus the village of Dalton. But let's see what it reads. David Graham, a former police officer for the village of Dalton, has sued the village of Dalton. Robert Fox in his individual and official capacity as police chief and Robert Shaw in his individual and official capacity as inspector general for their alleged violations of Title 567 and the U.S. Code. Defendants have moved to dismiss the complaint. So here are the facts. David Graham, a Caucasian male began working at the village of Dalton as a police officer in 2002 on or near June 9, 2008 police Sergeant Curtis Rimson Graham's supervisor began to refer to him and other Caucasian police officers as white boys. Police Sergeant Rimson continued to refer to Graham as a white boy through May, 2009 when Graham filed his charge with the EEOC equal employment opportunity commission Plaintiff alleges that police chief Robert Fox refused to give him overtime assignments and instead gave each assignments, gave such assignments to less qualified African-American police officers. On August 20, 2008, Fox asked Graham in the in the presence of Inspector Michael Signature, why don't you like locking up in words, hard ER, like them white boys in Riverdale? Your kind has been doing it for over 500 years. Lord, Lord, Lord. In 2008, Graham was the only Caucasian member of the Village of Dalton's tactical squad. In August 2022, 2008, Fox said at a staff meeting, this is a predominantly African-American department with the exception of you white speckles. Then at the same meeting, Fox told Graham that he was no longer allowed to wear black gloves like the other tactical squad officers because he was not black and was not in the projects. After the meeting, Graham complained to Sergeant Spigoloni about Fox's comments and glove mandate, but neither he nor defendant Shaw investigated or acted on the complaint. Subsequently, Graham complained about Fox's actions to Inspector Signature, who replied, you need to get a lawyer for that one. I'm your witness, child. Mm. Mm-mm. After several failed appeals, the village settled and agreed to pay around $220,000 in attorney fees and costs. Attorney Patrick Walsh says the action on the village's bank account taken because it is yet to pay, even after the village board approved payment. Uh, the village agreed in a settlement agreement to pay these fees. The court awarded these fees, and now they're just not paying it. A typical Dalton reaction for whistleblowers. What he really meant to say was typical colored reaction. This is what you coloreds do. They go against you. They retaliate against you. They're still retaliating today. Tammy Brown is a Dalton trustee. She says it's unclear why the judgment has not been paid. It says 809000 in the account. 
and 440,000 was frozen. That check was cut months ago. And why wasn't it given to that vendor? I don't know. I hope that the courts will see that everything that's been going through and they award us that check so we can finally put this behind us. We reached out to Mayor Tiffany Haynes' administration, but there was no response to our repeated requests for a comment. This matter heads back to court on July 23rd. Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Regina, you so cute. You know, daggone well, these people are not going to answer back to this. So in essence, while this initially happened under, I'm going to assume Riley Rogers, but it was before Big Tiff was elected. This happened under the police department and the dude sued. Then he won and now he needed payment. So based off of the view that they showed, and I'm not exactly sure, he was supposed to be paid in 2023. Now that's on Big Tiff. Now, according to what Ms. Brown just said, they approved the payment and yet somehow, some way, the man didn't get it, but the money is gone. Where the money reside, child? Big Tiff, where does the money reside? I know it's not your fault. It's the trustees. They did it. They ain't telling the truth. They grandstanding, blah, 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 blah. Now, y'all, I did try to go and find where they approved this payment, but I just couldn't in time for this video. If anybody knows where that is, please let me know or send it to me. And we'll definitely go over that because as per usual, it's not her fault. She out here worrying about the grass and the kids and the bubbles instead of tuning into something like this, which she is responsible for. But if the board of trustees approved it, where's all this money going? Like, I'm trying to understand how it is that you coloreds think that you're going to get money in your hand that's supposed to be relegated to certain people and places and spaces. You don't give it to them and it's just supposed to um, just disappear. I mean, what kind of brain? Tiffany always talking about how somebody else ain't too bright. Girl, I don't even know if you know how to spell the damn word bright. This makes no sense whatsoever. Y'all didn't even try to cook nothing. You're taking money allegedly from people who are expecting money in their hand and in their face. And yet she was carrying on at the Thornton Township meeting for them people doing videography and all the other agraphies. And that's what she going to run off at the mouth about. But when it comes to big ass money, like a freaking case, it's already been to court. It's already under scrutiny. You think the man was going to just let 200 plus thousand dollars go? Just slide, girl. No sense whatsoever. This is the thing about y'all. Y'all don't even know how to do things for the long term. I guess they just thought that they was going to be down there and daggone Dalton, do whatever the hell it is that they want. Nobody was bright. Nobody was going to say nothing because she could just fall back on the, I'm a black woman, the first black woman. Same old crap, different daggone day. Big Tiff, nobody gives a damn about that shit. And any other woman that think you're going to get away with shit just because of that, you got another thing coming because people is tired of it, including me. Now, hopefully they go ahead and find the daggone money. Maybe they wrote out a check, see whose name is on the back and figure out what to do from there. But child, everybody taking forever. So who the hell knows? Anyway, that's the update on that. Of course, you know that there's more. There's more videos to come. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this daggone channel. Make sure you like this daggone video and make sure you comment. I see you all in the next one. Because y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black and y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. You going to jail. You going, going to jail, jail. Gato. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Let's come here. Shut your stupid ass up. Oh. Say that, folks. Look at your dumb ass. Say it.